Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. This week I'm working on the Toro LX420. I purchased this in the fall and it's time to get it ready for the season so we're gonna go over it and make sure it's ready to mow. All right, so now if we check under the hood, we can see the oil drain is here, the oil filter is here. I have propped up the other side of the mower so it is leaning this way to make the oil flow out a little bit better. So we're going to use a catch pan that I made out of an oil jug. If you'd like to see, I've made a video about making these. I will put a, a link to that up in the corner. Um, this is also designed to have a hose connected to it. Um, it probably ships with one, but I bought this used, so it of course didn't come along with it. So to improvise, I'm just going to use this piece of garden hose. And that should work just fine. So let's open this up, take the cap off, and put the piece of garden hose on, and you need to turn this and pull it out. That's it. There we go. And now the drains, the rain, the oil's draining out. I did run the engine for a few minutes. Um, so that the engine, the oil would be warm and churn up the oil, uh, the dirt in the bottom of the oil pan. And I'm going to pull the dipstick out so that it doesn't create a back pressure. still trickling out. Let's see if we can get the the filter off. So this is a Kohler Courage 18 horsepower engine. They pretty much put the same oil filter on just about every engine that they make. Uh, the difference is capacity. So this was a fairly short one. So this is probably about a mid-range capacity. So the one that I bought is an STP, which should be the same. So this is a an S3 3614. Yeah, that's about the same. Um, I do want to take just a little bit, a little drip of the old oil, and I'm going to put that around the gasket so that it makes a good seal when we screw it on tight. All right. There we go. Okay. And then once once the gasket has touched, you want to turn it about one more full turn, three quarters to one. One, three quarters of a turn to one full turn. Okay, so that should be good and tight. So the manufacturer also recommends a 1030. So I brought, I bought the the STP 1030 oil. STP is not a sponsor. Those just are. Uh, what I get from my auto parts store and they've I've had good success with them. Okay, so when I was mentioning capacity of the oil filter, what I mean is, you know, we're looking at the height of it. So the height of the STP filter is a little bit bigger than the than the height of the color filter, and that's okay. You don't want to go down to a smaller capacity filter, but it's okay to go up to a larger capacity filter. So you might be wondering why did I buy the STP filter instead of the Kohler filter? And that's because the Kohler filter at Lowe's is about $16 and the STP filter I bought at the auto parts store for less than five. All right, we've gotten just about everything out of here. I'm just gonna turn, push that back in and turn a quarter of a turn, put the cap back on. That should be good to go. Okay, and just clean up any oil that may have dripped. All right, and I'm gonna remove the blocks so that the mower is once again level. Okay, so this Kohler 18 horsepower engine takes about 
one and a half liters or 50 ounces, which is a little bit, which is a little bit less than three, than uh, one and a half quarts. So it does have a gauge on this side here that'll tell you how much you've poured uh, or how much is left in the jug. So this is a five quart jug. So this line here is four quarts. So I'm gonna want it to be right near in between the four and the three quart line. All right, and we're right around three and a half quarts. So left in here, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna let it run a little bit. This, some of the oil is gonna go into the fuel, into the oil filter. And I'm gonna open the garage door so that let the fumes out. I'm going to turn the fan on. Let's start it up. Alright, let's see where we are with the oil. Perfect, right on the full line. All right, let's check while we're over here. We're gonna check the air filter. Well, the filter doesn't look too bad, although if it focuses, it's a little, looks like something was chewing on it up on the corners up there. But the filter actually looks pretty clean. Since we saw that it looked like the air filter had been chewed on a little bit, I want to take this cover off and make sure that there's not a nest in here. So it looks like there's one, two, three, and there's supposed to be four bolts. It looks like one is missing, but I'm going to take these other three off and see if we can get the cover off and, uh, and just check in underneath here, make sure there's no nest. I am actually pleasantly surprised. That looks nice and clean underneath there. A little rusty. But I don't see any mouse nests or debris. Good deal. So I have reinstalled the engine cover and the air filter and its cover. The last thing that I want to check over here is the fuel filter. And this one looks brand new. It looks like somebody must have just put this one in. If yours is clogged, you want to make sure that uh, fuel can flow through it freely. Uh, if not, you want to replace it. So now let's go check out the front end. On the front suspension, there are a couple of grease fittings, one here and one on the other side, so that you could lubricate the steering. Uh, I'm not going to bother because there's already grease uh, oozing out of the top, so I'm assuming that somebody probably just did that recently. On the front wheels, if you take these caps off, there's a grease fitting underneath here too. Um, there's also grease oozing out, so I'm going to believe that that's been done recently too so I'm gonna leave that one alone but if you you know you should probably put some grease in there each year when you're getting the mower ready for service and one other thing you're gonna to want to check is your tire pressure Toro recommends 14 pounds in the front and 10 pounds in the rear so one thing you may have noticed that we didn't cover was the deck and that's because there are some issues with the deck on this and I'm gonna be making a separate video about that so if you got something out of this video please be sure to like it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe take care